Hurricane Irma, Palmer, Turks, and Caicos Island. Hurricane Irma has Palmer's the Turks and Caicos Island after leaving a trail of destruction across the Caribbean, killing at least 14 people. The low-lying islands are said to be at risk of a storm surge, with the possibility of destructive waves up to six me me meter higher than usual. There has been some damage and flooding in Haiti, where the infrastructure has yet to recover from a devastating earthquake in 2010. Irma is a Category Five hurricane. This is the highest possible level for a hurricane, and its wind and traveling at up to 175 kilometer per hour. An estimated 1.2 million people have been affected by Irma, and that could rise sharply to 26 million. The Red Cross says. There are concerns that disasters could spread rapidly in areas where drinking water and sanitation services have broken down, and officials have warned that the death toll is likely to rise. What next in Irma's part? Irma is near the Turks and Caicos Island and is projected to move towards the Bar Bahamas. The storm is predicted to reach Cuba next before hitting the U.S. states of Florida as a weekend, with the head of the U.S. emergency agency predicting a truly devastating impact. Preparation for the arrival of Irma were carried out in the Turks and Caicos, which has a population of about thirty-five thousand. Its highest point is only. Fifty million. Governor John Freeman said, "We decided to evacuate certain islands, which were particularly low-lying and at threat. The evacuated had had been sent to shelters." The regional collector Rob. Director of the Turks and Caicos Department, Disaster Management and Emergency, says that even inland areas could be inundated by the storm surge. We are expecting inundation, inundation, both rainfall as well as storm surge, and we may not be able to come rescue residents in a timely manner. Irma also caused some damage to roofs, flooding, and power outage to the northern parts of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. In Cuba, thousands of tourists from coastal resorts in the exposed part of the island have been evacuated. The effect of storm surge. Britain, France, and the Netherlands have sent ships. Rescue teams and emergency supplies to the territories that have been hit by Hurricane Irma. Air efforts are being hampered by damage to local airports and harbors. Which area have been hit? Barbuda, St. Martin, Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, British Virgin Islands. A state of emergency has been declared and fatalities are expected. What the U.S. can expect? Irma is expected to hit Florida as a category four hurricane on Sunday, bringing storm surge and flooding. If you look at the size of the storm, it's huge. Florida Governor Governor Rick Scott said on Thursday, "It's wider than our entire state and could cause major and life-threatening impacts on both coast, coast to coast." U.S. President Donald Trump said, "I can say this: Florida is as well prepared as you can be for something like this. Now, is that a question of what happens? How do you calculate the cost of a hurricane? Evacuations of tourists and residents of the Florida Keys, a resort archipelago, have begun. Flights to and from airports in Florida are being suspended." Orlando's International Airport said commercial flights will start from 17 o'clock local time on Saturday.
Are there more hurricanes to come? Another storm, Zeus, further out in the Atlantic behind Imer, has been upgraded to Category 3 strength and could pass close to many areas already hit by the severe weather. Storm Kaitir in the Gulf of Mexico has also upgraded to hurricane status, and a warning was in fact for the coast of the Michigan states for Veracruz. Predict part of Hurricane Imer, local time. Are you in the region? Are you a holiday maker unable to get a flight home or a resident who has been preparing for Hurricane Imer? If it's safe for you to do so, share your experience by email. Harvey, our says at bbc.co.uk.